Welcome to Shooting the Shift with Marilyn and Elizabeth. These light warriors, both native New Yorkers, walk their walk, talk their talk, and keep the real in the deal. This dynamic duo joined forces to assist you through your transformational journey one step at a time, empowering you with spiritual tools you can use in your daily life. Each show begins as a conversation creating an opening for spiritual connection. There are never any scripts, and spirit is always illuminating the way. And that's when the shift hits the fan. The magical messages of the ancestors, spirit guides, and Gaia are respected, honored, and always given sacred space to communicate. Join Marilyn and Elizabeth as they shake shift up and do what they do best. Speak from their hearts. Good morning. Welcome to Shooting the Shift. I'm not really sure how much shaking the shift up Marilyn and I need to do today because the universe (laughs) seems to be stepping in and doing a fine job of that for everybody out there, I think. There you go. (laughs) For sure. Well, welcome. Yes, we just literally, I think eight minutes ago, the full moon in Leo apexed and it's a big one. It's one of the best full moons of 2022 for manifesting and um, our topic today I do say topic in air quotes because we so briefly go into it and then we get distracted and move on which is perfectly fine that's the way it is Um, is the frequency of our story running in the background and will it activate false truths that will vibrate in our daily interactions with others or not are we aware of that so If you believe things will never change because you've tried over and over and over again and failed, that doesn't mean that you failed. It just means now's the time to shine because that's literally what this full moon is about too. Our old story, our new story, and are you brave enough to step into your own light, your own purpose, and take that leap it's about a big brave heart think about those big lion all that mane all that heart energy being courageous so listen i might even go in my backyard tonight and roar and howl i probably should have done it last (laughs) night but it's never too late to roar at the moon right get that fierce beast out of me right Mm. So, or, or um, at least, boy, maybe not so much out of you, right? But at least out there, so that you can just feel it inside. Right, as well. out in the universe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. not out of me, yeah. but yeah. Well, it is a time for your voice. It is a time for expression. It is a time mm-hmm. for um, letting the true you come out. You know, all of us have those little bits of ourselves that we make small. Now, I'm going to say this so clearly. Now is not the time to make yourself small Mm, mm, mm. again this is not the time to make yourself small this is the time to stretch yourself so maybe you're not ready to jump off the cliff like indiana jones maybe you just need to jump from one rock to another rock or one lily pad to another lily pad or a baby step, but I can tell you these two weeks coming up are the most powerful time for manifesting your path forward and lighting away like a torch, like the Olympian torch charging forward. Um, it's an amazing time, and I, I had a few things I wanted to cover, Marilyn, if you don't mind. Um, astrology, what's going on with those planets, because it always makes sense yeah. to me. So... Um, What's your passion? That's your question out there. What's your passion? What's that one thing that you thought you were not old enough, young enough, smart enough, thin enough, fat enough, whatever your enough is, whatever it is, it's the thing that you know that keeps coming up and you keep pushing it down, right? So Venus and Mars are both very passionate and they, they are trining Uranus, our big planet of change. And Jupiter is in its sign of Pisces. What does all that mean? Jupiter's expansion. So these four planets are doing a magical dance in the sky, allowing us to step into our passions, to step into um, these energies about um, individuating, individuating yourself 
from the pack, from the herd, grabbing into what's yours, tapping into it, and having that passion. And, you know, Uranus is the great awakener. So it's rising up in you and it's saying, how do you want to shine? How do you want to make your little tiny mark, right? Whatever it is, your spark. Because all our sparks connect connect energetically when they're lit up. So, I mean, that is just a very, very extremely brief <laughs> synopsis of what's going on. But it's a, it's a beautiful energy. And yeah. I can feel it. Can you feel oh, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just think about, like, I'm listening to how you're describing, you know, this energy, right? And it's so interesting because, you know, when we got on, I said to you, <laughs> I had the... Um, the Sarah Borelli's um, song Brave, which was really, it connects to the frequencies right now, right? Because it's to yep. say what you want, say what you want to say, to be brave enough to say it, right? To let the words That's fall so out funny. as they need to, right? So let's think about how that, how that plays into this energy, right? Because it's about you awakening, right? To the ability, to your power and to your ability to say, I need to let this spill out right i no longer need to mm -hmm. hold this within me because this is a part of my story and this is a part of who i am right that somehow i have kind of kind of like maybe drowned down or you know dug in so deep that you know i couldn't surface but it's the time yeah. now that we're able to surface because there's such a great opening. There really is. And, yeah. I, and I can see it because I have spoken to so many people <laughs> as of late, right, that are experiencing yeah. such shifts and changes. And it's because there is a, a, a great awakening, right, that is really happening within us, through us. And we're getting, you know, into we're, we're, we're having experiences that are causing us to uh sit in our stuff you know and it's it's about yes. yeah maybe it's a little murky you know maybe it's a little muddy maybe it's just a little you know uncomfortable right maybe it's really uncomfortable but if we can sit in that discomfort and we're able to then you know process some of this then we can turn those mucky waters into clear waters, right? Into, mm -hmm. you know, amazing energy, right? That is going to, you know, help us to, 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 sh to, shift, in, to shift in the world. And so, yeah, I, I, I get that part. I mean, it's like, you know, sometimes we think about, you know, expectations, you know, because I know that we're also going to be talking about the power of our stories, right? And our stories have a lot to do with expectations and how we, you know, certain expectations that we might have, you know, people, places and things, you know, and, you know, even ourselves, what we expect from ourselves. And the other thing is, well, we are creating this ex scene, you know, of expectations and outcomes. And sometimes, you know, we are, how would I say, those expectations are not met by others. And yeah. we, then we feel disappointed or we feel all kinds of ways. And in reality, we probably never even, you know, talked about what we were expecting, like what it was that we were uh, looking for or, you know, what it was that, you know, we thought was about was going to happen through this process that we or the steps that we were taking. But it's important for us to be able to share that because... You know, a lot of times we, how would I say, we place a blame on someone else because they didn't meet certain expectations, but then we never even told them. <laughs> so if you don't tell someone that you, you know, this is, this is the expectation of this relationship, or this is the expectation, you know, in this, you know, in what we're doing together. If, if, if you, you don't sit together and, and have that, then there's disappointments. And then you, and then we, we set to, and then we say, oh, it's because this person or that person or this. And no, it's mm -hmm. because I, I didn't explain to you the role that I kind of put you in, in my scenario of my expectation of how you were going to show up, you know? And so all of that is important because it's part of our story. So how are we telling the story? How are we living in this story? 
right? That is it, and it, how are we limiting ourselves by our story? Yes, you know, it's, sometimes yes. you can't see the forest for the trees. You know, there's that saying, you know, wherever you go, there you are. I think yeah. that's a Buddhist saying, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, where are you going and how are you going there, right? It, yeah. Being conscious of that. Now, it's interesting because you shared your song, but I didn't share my song. I did <laughs> share my song on Facebook this morning, and. And I said, in other words, from the very sexy Aquarian, Harry Styles, and he has a, si a, a song called Lights Up, and it's shine, step into the light, I'm never going back. Mm -hmm. Shine, mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. you know who you are? Do you know who you are? So both of these songs would be really good songs to add to your playlist for yes. today, for the next two weeks. and. Maybe for forever if they resonate with you. But um, mm -hmm. I have to say, I think it's important. To, I know I have, Marilyn, been creating a space where I can renew myself over and over. And I and I purposely done that in the last few days where I, I go into my meditation, I go into my quiet space, and I literally pick apart my day. Not, not in a critical way, but in a way of... What served me and what didn't? Where did I stumble and where did I not? Where am I empowered and where could I work at it? And it's not judgment. It's not a rubber mallet, you know, whack-a-mole. It is being an observation of, wow, I could really up the ante on this little attitude thing that I've got going on. <laughs> I don't know how long I've had that, but I think it's time to, like, kick that to the curb, you know? <laughs> and... Um, little pieces and come back to again every time what do i want and what do i choose and i think choice is a really big word i, I i've tried to say um the word individuate it's a hard word to say and i think do you find it hard to say say it individuate, individuate. it's hard to say <laughs> isn't it for me, I think, yes, it might be a little hard to say, but I think it's also hard to say because it's a frequency that I am aspiring to now to individuate myself from all the other energies I've mm -hmm. been entrenched in, either my mm -hmm. own or other people's expectations like you were talking about, right? Um, we, You know, sh Shit hit the fan. Shit is real now. This is a choice. It's a choice. And you can decide, I want to charge forward and I want to be brave and I want to look back and say, look, at least I took this step. Or you can decide I'm not ready. And that's okay too. But you are. we are all on this planet being given a choice right now of what we want and how we want to get there and, and what is the resonance of where we are. And I, it couldn't be any more, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the Pluto return for the United States. It's very karmic, 262 years. And basically what it is, is that the U.S. karmically is being forced to look back to whether the original attention set for the nation is still upheld or if it needs to be rewritten. And I think most of us know the answer to what was our constitution was based on. All men are, are equal, but are they? And so, you know, this is the question for humanity. What world do we want to create? And, of course, it starts with ourselves, right? Our yeah. story. Yeah. And, and unentrenching ourselves from... Mm -hmm. centuries <laughs> yeah. yeah and t and how we t how we tell our story to be able mm -hmm. to recognize because it's so important to recognize right your story uh because sometimes you know i think that um we aren't as conscious of our stories right like for, right. for the most part we're just doing and being right and we're not really as conscious as uh, we could be um, in our stories. Because it, I believe that if we were, there would be a lot more changes taking place than they are. I'm gonna, and I speak for myself, right? Um, I know that when I'm conscious in my story, when I'm really, really aware, you know, of, you know, just how I'm, how I'm, 
being in my story like the what is the role that I'm in right now in this story that I'm in right now and then you know just analyzing it and understanding oh wait how does that feel to me do I feel okay in this put in this role or uh, is this role a little bit more like too much for me I really don't want to continue to play that role in this you know in this story of mine so in this story of mine i know I, I really feel that i need to backtrack a little bit and take a better look a closer look as to why it is that you know i'm take i took on this role and maybe why this role is no longer of service for me right for my highest and greatest good and when i'm able to do those things that i'm able to change the current right that the frequency that i'm on and things start to change as well, right? So it's not just this, you know, this piece that I'm changing and it's just for me. It really changes the dynamics all around me as well, you know? Well, um, yes, and there, the, there is the element too, we have to, we have to say, you know, the Leo full moon it especially is about being brave, taking a risk. <clears throat> it's not a risk that, <clears throat> it's going to fail you if you're true to your heart if you're true to that heart energy and that passion and you've known this you're not going to betray yourself but there is a risk involved you have to implement a step whether it's your consciousness or uh, this time I'm getting in the car and I'm driving away even though 20 other times I said I was leaving and I didn't because I was too afraid or I wasn't ready or I was stuck you know that's just a tiny metaphor but um, you know I can't even believe we're up to the first break already ready Marilyn <laughs> I think pretty soon we're just going to be in spaceships like the Jetsons I mean I'm not sure why we're not already but <laughs> So you guys, if you'd like to call in 202-570-7057, we'd love to help you enlighten your path moving forward. So give us a call. We'll be right back. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. So I'm a cat. And I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with, all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg rolls showed up, like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. <coughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Shooting the Shift with Marilyn and Elizabeth. And um, so, Marilyn, I've been giving a lot of thought to about, um, you know, these pockets of time that I'm talking about and just kind of getting away and getting away from the screen, from the TV. I mean, even movies. I'm not even talking news or um just having this time with myself because i have to say there is a little bit of bravery about rediscovery right i don't think i know who this new person is showing up entirely you know i used my cake analogy last week you know the toothpick going in the cake and it's still sticky mm -hmm. so you know 
clearly I have no idea yet what my cake is going to taste like. <laughs> I just know that I put all my heart ingredients in there and I, and I put my love in there and I've put even my tears in there, right? And now it's baking. But it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get familiar with the parts of me that I'm reintegrating, that I'm reacquainting myself with. And I think it's really important to consider taking that time and making that a conscious effort and that that's what I've been implementing the most because I know that now every planet in the universe is direct. Nobody's retrograde. We've got some really amazing energy to support this. It's not going to be like this all year. If you think January and February so far has gone fast, double seatbelt, you know, yeah, because it's, yeah, we're, we're heading into the light year spaceship now, Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, you know that, I, I love the word integrating, right? Because I love to use mm -hmm. it a lot as well, right? Because integrating is really a uh, really important part, right, of doing the work, right? Because a lot of times I... I hear a lot of times people saying, I got to, I got to let go of this. I got to let go of that. I got to let go of this. I got to go that, that, right? And I go, wait, wait, wait. We don't always have to let go. We don't always have to let go of things or ideas or beliefs or, you know, we, we have to, um, you know, take a look at them, see the role that they play Maybe they shift a little bit. Maybe they change, you know. Maybe we see it from a higher perspective. And then we integrate it from a higher perspective, right? Versus keeping it in, you know, in the um, perspective that we had, right? Because when we're looking at things from a higher perspective, lots of things change, right? And it's important sometimes to integrate the things that, that really are still very important, and that we honor in our lives, right? Um, so yeah, I believe in integrating because you know I don't. I think you know it's important to let go of things, to surrender, to um, <clears throat> to make room, to allow, to say you know I release this you know understanding. Uh, I also believe that when we're doing those kinds of things, it's important to also put in a new you know um, uh, positive you know belief in place right and it's important for us to be in this continuous um cycle of checking in you know checking in we need to check in and to see is this still you know a good frequency for me or is this frequency no longer necessary for my highest and greatest good or my highest and greatest outcome right so and, and so i feel that it's important for us to always be proactive because reactive is not the way to be, right? And we can see that because when we look out, everywhere. sometimes everywhere. everybody, not everybody, let me take that back. I mean, I'm taking it back. I'm a lot, back. a but, lot. There's a lot of reaction going on. Right but now. there's yes. a lot more, you know, reactive yep. energy yep. than proactive energy. And, it, and it's not that there's not a lot of proactive energy out there because there mm -hmm. is. But what we are being shown what we are, you know, um, how would I say, what's placed before us is that energy of the reactiveness, you know. And that yeah. is not an energy that really, it, it can't, I, I just feel like it's not of any service to us, right? It's not going to help us to, um, you know, to have a greater outcome in anything, right? Because it's important to be more, uh, proactive than it is reactive. I really believe in that, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think it's um, part of it is when we're looking at things, how are we looking at them? Are we looking at them from, you know, from a higher perspective or are we looking at it from the source that it's coming from and then mm -hmm. accepting the source as the truth, right? Because sometimes, you yes. know, it's just things a lot that are... Of times. <laughs> yeah, it's things and, and false you know, evidence. Yeah, and and it's not serving us. It's not serving us. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes we have to look at things and say, oh, let me take a look at it from a higher perspective. You know, let me take a a, a grander look at this. You know. Yeah, and and sometimes you know, just saying, I, I'm too afraid to do that right now. 
I have too much fear around that to really make a move yet. That's that's awareness. That is power. That is empowering. Because if you can acknowledge where you're at and say, I am not ready or I am too afraid, you're acknowledging where you are. And as yeah. you know, I always say, we have to start where we are, right? Yes. And yes. that's why every day I, in the last few days, I've sat down and said, where am I? Where yeah. are my pitfalls? Where am I? Mm-hmm. And this isn't about betterizing myself. No. This is about familiarizing. Judgment. Yes, mm-hmm. it's about familiarizing myself with what is falling away or what am I holding on to? Because I've held on to it so tightly for so long that it's like, you know, you got your teeth in the meat, you know? And it's <laughs> well, like, well, it's a do pattern. you even like what you're tasting yes. anymore? <laughs> is that even, yeah, is it even like, I mean, like you're a vegetarian and you're, you got your teeth in a turkey leg. It's not working, right? Right. Yeah. But that has a lot to, doesn't that have a lot to do with the patterns, right, that we put into place? Exactly. It, it has a lot to do with... You know, this is a cycle that we've been on for so long that it's almost, it's a pattern that we've built. It's the road that we've been on. And, and, and what happens is that when we say, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to run so fast ahead of myself. Right, right. <laughs> that, that right. I may run right. myself over when I come when I come by. I might run myself over because I don't even know that I'm dead yet. So part of it is being able to slow down and to go in and to say, okay, um, what feels right here? And oh, okay, that feels really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we check that, and we're gonna keep that because that makes us feel, feel. good, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. feel good. The this heart. feels good. And then when certain things come up, and it could be in our daily interactions, and we say, oh, ah, that didn't feel so good. Wow, that really impacted me. And it took me to a place I really didn't want to go. I had such a feeling around that. Well, we don't want to hold on to that. We don't want to hold on to that emotion. But I do always say, we may want to check in with that emotion, because that emotion is carrying a frequency which is carrying information which is carrying some coded information that we can yeah. learn from so it's not always just because it doesn't feel good that it doesn't mm-hmm. have any um uh, how would i say any teaching in it it does because well, it's teaching for us for me yeah yeah it's, yeah, <laughs> usually it's... for me, Marilyn, it doesn't feel good, and that's how it gets my attention, right? Yeah. Yes. So sometimes when we're really feeling tried or tested, that's when we have to go. Wait a second. Um, how about this? How about devil's advocate for those people out there that are going? Well, I'm listening to them, and I understand what they're saying, but what if I really don't know what that is rising in me? I know there's something, but I don't know. So how about this? Because we go into the heart space of the feeling. And let's make it completely nondescript. I am deserving and worthy of the beautiful things that are coming in for me. Hmm. I mean, sit with that. I am deserving and worthy of the beautiful things that are coming in for me. You don't have to know what those things are. But you have to know how you want to feel about those things that are showing up. Yeah, and if you say it and you feel some kind of some way, right? Like you're not feeling like, oh, this doesn't match me, right? It doesn't match right. what I'm what Maybe I'm feeling. I have a, something worthy there. Maybe there's something about me feeling worthy there, right? That that That's something to look at, you know? Um, took me a long time because, I mean, for a long time I used to think, oh, this sappy, love and light crap. Right? <laughs> Does that sound more like a native New Yorker, jaded, winged warrior, you know, who's got wounds? But no, it's a soft place in there. And, and being brave is having an open heart in a world that is a tumultuous place. Earth, <laughs> Earth school is not for the easy. I mean, it is, we picked, I truly believe we picked our paths to be here for a reason. And it is not an easy, but it is, it is one of the hardest places to come <laughs> with the lessons in the physical and the duality. 
And um, that's why you have to kind of sometimes muster up that brave little warrior and, you know, pep them up. And that's why I say, take your Superman stance. What color is your cape today? I am worthy. <laughs> I am ready. I am able. I can do it. Even if you have to fake it till you make it. Yeah. And if, you, and, and if you're not feeling those feelings, like if you're not feeling, you know, worthy or powerful or, you know, that you matter or... Let's dive in and let's take a look. Why do you feel that way? Right. Can we take a look at why it is that you don't feel that way? Because it's usually an old story that's running in the background that you keep telling yourself, but you're not even aware of it because it's a story that's been going on for so many years that it's part of who you are now. And it doesn't mean that it can't be moved, you know, that it can't move away. It's just that we're holding on to that story for dear life. It's almost like if we don't have that story, then who are we without that story? And I That's say, right. oh, my I'm God, like, do you know don't you, you want are? to discover who you are without <laughs> right. that story? Let's find out who mm -hmm. we are without that story that's running in the background that's really, you know, keeping us from uh, from from seeing who we really are, you know, how powerful we are, the light that we are, you know, the, 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 we have so much power. And I always say this because I believe this, you know, from my core, there is so much power in us that, I mean, I feel sometimes like we can light the world, you know, the universe. You, you can. Know, with, with the light that lives within each and every one of us. The thing is, is that we have learned throughout our lifetime, right, to dim our light. Oh, because other people, we don't want to blind them or we don't want them to feel uncomfortable or they, don't you know, oh, let's truth. make them. Yeah. Oh, I can't say this because if I say it, um, you know, I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. And this is what I say. Say what you need to say. You can say it with love and compassion and in honoring your, your truth, right? But it's important mm -hmm. to be able to speak your truth because if you shut down, then what happens is that there's a piece of you that shuts down with it. And we want to be wide open, right? So it's important, right? Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, and as I'm saying that, okay, I feel like I need to read this, so I'm going to. So when you're, you're stuck in the muck, there is no fluidity. I, I can't say that word right, <laughs> fluidity. There is no clarity upon which to navigate the systems. You're stuck in your thinking brain and can't cross over to the areas where other possibilities exist. It's as though the sensors are closed to the signals that have the potential to move you from your state of being into a better reality. Our channels of communication are blocked, not accessible in the moment. The feelings of inadequacy appears and you ride that frequency because the longer you try to access the information, the harder it becomes. And that's, you know, sometimes the belief, right? That's sometimes the belief. Now, I had written this um, some time ago, and I was like, yeah, you know, when you are stuck in the muck, there is no, you know, uh, I, it's hard to say, you know, when it's flowing, right? The flow, right? You yep. want the, yes. the, the flow to be happening, right? But when you're stuck in the muck, the, the flow is not happening, Right. And then it's hard to have clarity and to navigate the systems because you're stuck in the muck and you can't move around and you really can't see because it's so murky. Right. So part of that is, you know, sometimes what we are experiencing and I say so maybe sometimes what we simply need to do is to take deep mm -hmm. breaths, venture inside because there is yes. nothing murky in there. There's just so many blessings within us. And there's so much clarity inside, you know, and it's just being yeah. able to tap in, just tap, tap, tap in, right? Because tap, it's so tap. important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and also I would say like your comfort zone is not a good benchmark. <laughs> yeah. We've all been really comfortable for a very long time. And when you're not used to being confident, confidence feels like arrogance. 
And when you're used to being passive, assertiveness feels like aggression. Think, you know, yeah. there's new ways, there's new ways of showing when you start prioritizing your needs and your voice, people are not going to like it. Not everybody's going to like that. This is Uranus energy, shaking <laughs> stuff up. Change. making things change exactly and there's there really hasn't been much of a better time not that i can think of in the last few years at least astrologically where you are being supported to kind of break out of all, you know it's like a giant spiritual exfoliation <laughs> you know when you exfoliate your skin and you take that peach kernel stuff and you scrub and you get all the dead cells off it this is literally what i would call a spiritual exfoliation and you know cracking out of that little shell that little dead skin that's ready to go i mean i literally i'm going to share this because it was very profound for me in one of my trance groups my friend eileen teaches an amazing class and i literally was a worm i saw a worm and I saw the old half get cut in half mm. and the old stuff that had to go, go back into a different dimension, whatever you want to call it. And then regenerating with the new. I mean, nothing could be more literal than that. But that's exactly what it is. Taking the goods and the wisdom from what you've learned and letting go what you've learned to unlearn and let it go. Um, and we are ready for our second break now, Marilyn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, but, you know, regeneration is very powerful and birth is messy, but it's rewarding. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> we'll be right back. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free. AscendingHearts.com. Imagine yourself being transported to India, to the banks of the Ganga, and an ashram in Rishikesh. Visualize that you are welcome to satsang with an American sannyasi who shares the wisdom of her guru. Your visualization has manifested. Join Satvi Bhagawati Saraswati for inspiration and transformation every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Coping 19, brought to you by CDC and the Ad Council. With everything going on, there may be times you feel like you can't handle it all. Journaling, meditating, and talking with friends and family can help you feel more grounded and better able to cope. Your kids are also going through a lot of new experiences, and simply talking with them about their feelings can be quite powerful. Find more self-care and coping tips at coping-19.org. Welcome back to Shooting the Shift with Marilyn and Elizabeth. Okay, so um, I would like to say, too, that the energy right now is very benevolent for boosting your confidence, right? And, um, you know, I don't know how many of you are fans of uh, The Lion King, right? But little Simba trying to empower himself and <laughs> roar at that cliff, you know, that is the energy that we're kind of embracing. And um, we're all facing it in different ways. Obviously, if you've listened to our radio show all the way to the time that we're speaking right now, something we're saying either resonates or you're curious about. And um, I would like to say there's no value here in needing to prove yourself to others. That's not what this is about in any way. This is about proving to yourself that you can take a, a tiny step, a big step, whatever your step is. 
I think it would be very important on this day in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, to have a ritual, whatever it is, one intention. It can be as, it can be as simple as, I have said I was going to join the gym for two months, and I haven't, and I'm going to. It can be that simple. It can be, you know, implementing one thing in your diet. It can be, it just needs to be one action that's physical, that you're actually implementing something, whatever feels right for you. Yeah, you can because take tiny action, little steps, right? You can yes. take tiny little steps. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to do the whole complete step. So I mean, if going to do. the gym, yeah, if going to the gym is a plus for you, you can say I've set the timetable to, you know, I, I set the time up to go. Okay, so maybe I get ready. Uh, I got ready. And maybe I didn't get there. Ah, but I got ready and I'm going to celebrate that. I'm going to celebrate and the fact that I got ready. To go, uh -huh. right? And then tomorrow I'll do the same thing and I'll get ready. Maybe I'll get closer to the door. <laughs> Exactly. And, 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 right? and then eventually yeah, we, I'll get to the gym. And then once I get to the gym, I can do, I don't have to say, oh, I got to do an hour. Okay, maybe I'm going to do 20 minutes. And maybe the next day I'll do, you know, 20 minutes in, or I'll do 30 minutes, whatever it is. If I have to do five minutes, the thing is I'm there and I'm, I'm working my way to making this uh, uh, something that is a part of what I do. So the more I, I entertain this and the more I do it, the closer I am at creating this as, as a possibility in my life to, to get myself to do it, right? So I yeah. think, you know, that's that's really part... I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thought, right? That if we can do that, then at least we're closer to creating mm -hmm. that which we mm -hmm. want in our lives, right? To obtain yeah. that. Right. It's like anything you, 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 you can't, you can't say I'm going to be a major um, meditator and I've never meditated before. You know, you can meditate for five minutes a day and then you can yeah. go to 10 minutes a day. And then, you know, I can do a deep trance now for over an hour and that's usually where I get most of my stuff. But it's very rare that I can find an entire hour to do that and it's purposeful. But it took me seven years. I looked back and seven years ago, I kind of started guided visual meditation, you know, or, you know, I'm going to run a triathlon. Well, you're going to need your little training wheels on your bicycle until you're ready to like, solo up the yeah. hill in France, yeah. you know, and we do as humans, we tend to want everything right now. And we forget the key element is we're co-creating it. So yeah, we can't go seven time. steps ahead. Yeah. And it takes time. You know, sometimes the other thing is, is that we see successful people, you know, when they are successful, but we don't see how long yeah. it took them to get there. Like we think, yes. oh, no, they got there mm -hmm. overnight. Nobody gets there overnight. You know how many years uh -huh. that they had yes. to go through of yes. the struggles, of the letdowns, yes. of the... That's one of know, my favorite quotes of all time <laughs> from Life's Little Instruction Book. Overnight success <laughs> takes at least 15 years. <laughs> it takes a long time. But it's it's a journey. It's a journey. And the thing is, is that we have... It's important to remember that the journey is just as important, right? Or probably more important than the outcome. Because once you get there... You know, you're just going to start again to something else, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So it's about what am I learning on this journey? Uh -huh. You know, what am I, you know, what's opening up for me? What, you know, is my heart opening more, right? Am I, am I more compassionate towards others and towards myself? Because I want to, I, I can't say this enough, right? It's rediscovering the self. This is 2022. It's about rediscovering the self. So it's about being compassionate to self it's about loving the self it's about you know um treasuring honoring you know just being available to yourself because you are really mighty and important and you matter and without you right you're an intricate part of this of this beautiful that's right maze that we're making or you know whatever creation it is that we you matter because you are a part an intricate part of this and without you right it's difficult and so it's important that everyone recognizes that they are that intricate part that matters 
you know? And so yeah, recognizing... Don't, don't forget how much you matter. Don't yeah. undermine how much you matter. You are deserving and worthy of all the beautiful things that are coming in for you. Yes, yes. And remember <laughs> who the F you are. Who yeah. are you at your core? You're yeah. a beautiful soul that came here for a reason to experience not just the wonderful and the blissful and the, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, and there's, there's going to be ups and downs. Through, yes. Yeah, down. all around, right? You're going to just stumble. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to make missteps, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are. But is there really and, a misstep, Miss Marilyn? But, is but, really? but let me explain. The misstep is going to be because when you, when you recognize that misstep, there's yeah. so much medicine in that. There is such yeah. a teaching in that. So yes, it's you know we when when I say mis mistake, it's like uh, and but you know the misstep is yeah it is it is but it's a beautiful stepping out of because we are recognizing that oh my goodness in this stumble that I have that just has occurred to me right? or happened to me I'm learning something from it and that's the that's it that's the nugget that's what we're after so it's it's a blessing I consider it a blessing right because it's so it's such a um, it's so powerful for me right to be able to to say oh my goodness I've learned this from this and without this experience, I could not have had that information, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. that's just the way it has to be, you know? And mm -hmm. but if we but if we say, oh, I you know, I hate the fact that this happened, I can't, I can't, I can't I can't, you know, experience it in a positive way, well then we're not gonna get the message that was supposed to be that we were supposed to receive from that. And so we're just yeah. going to keep going in the cycle of recreating a similar experience until we get the message, the medicine, the teaching that comes from that experience. And that's really important, right? I have a, I have a list here of um, questions that that's I think... That's it. I just had a, a light bulb moment, Marilyn. You gave me okay. a light bulb moment. Okay. My worm, my regenerated worm, my worm that got cut in half. The bad stuff had to go, and the medicine came with yes. it. the medicine of the regeneration. That's so beautiful. Sorry, right. you just gave me a light. No, bulb. and it felt good, yeah. right? And it felt yeah. good to receive. Because so you good. see what happened? It's almost like that they, there was a covering of the medicine. There was, a, there was a layer there that wasn't allowing you to receive the medicine. To, to yeah. receive that beautiful message that was there. And once that piece was pulled away from it and separated, you could see it. You could feel it. You could experience Expansion it. Expansion oh. <laughs> with Jupiter and Pisces and Uranus. <laughs> Woo! Right? Yes, very so, powerful. Yeah, so really that's so, so, so beautiful, right? The way you, you the way you experienced it right and we're all going to experience it differently right of course uh, but but it's so beautiful to be able to um you know put it out there so people can actually uh how would i say actually see it right for oh my you god know, i'm not a that. worm girl i'm just gonna throw <laughs> that out there i'm not a worm girl so when a worm shows up in my trance and rears his ugly head like a monster i pay attention you know it's yeah. not my choice i wouldn't have picked a worm <laughs> yeah but spirit knew what I needed to see to get my attention, right? right? To, to really right. show me what was happening. That right. wasn't me in my muggle mind. No, and you weren't gonna let it go because it's so no. important. It was so important yep. for your expansion and for your openness and for your shifting, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. things happen to us and it, and it opens us up. And sometimes what happens is it opens us up and even though we think we're opened up, we still have, there's still one more opening that needs to be, you know, to happen in order for us to experience the full effect of the openness, right? And will we receive that? Yes, we will, because this is the part of what we're here to do, right? Part of what we're here to do is to experience life, right? Um, I, I, I may be going off on a tangent with this, but I do want to um, put some questions out that I think that maybe people can you know, uh, utilize and uh, yeah, help themselves to, 
you know, because, you know, I think it's important I sometimes, hear, um, right? Like, ask yourself, what qualities do I see in me that I would like reflected back at me? Okay? Yes. What qualities do I see in me that I would like reflected back at me? Another one. What do I really believe about myself? Ooh, that's a loaded one, right? Because we got to know that. The, the good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between. Right. Everything, right? right? Not, just the, not just the goody stuff. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't look at the bad stuff, yeah, you're not yeah. willing to, to see it. Yes, so yes. Change it. Yeah. So then the other one is, what am I grateful for in my life? Oh, my God. I could feel, I, I could just, I could write every all over the world, right? It's just like yeah. fill the world up with that. What do I wish to eliminate from the way I see myself in the world? Yeah, that's and a you good can one. right because part of that is is so important, right? Because we don't we don't we don't look at it that way sometimes, right? But it's important sometimes to to say what do I wish to eliminate from the way I see myself in the world? Yeah, yeah right. And then the powerful. other one is. What do I wish to eliminate from the way I experience the world? I experience the world, right? Because it's a little different, right? Mm -hmm. It's how, how I see myself and then how I experience mm -hmm. the world, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And they kind of, when you, when you do the work, you're going to see that both of those are, you're going to see a lot of, um, how would I say, connectors, right? You're going to see a lot of connectors when you do that. And, and the other question is going to be, how can I make the changes that I believe are necessary for my expansion? So yes. how can I make the changes that I believe are necessary for my expansion? And the yeah. last one that That's I have perfect is... perfect for today. Yeah, and the last one is, do I believe change is possible for me? Yes, yes, yes. Woo, yeah. Yes, and if we yes, say yes, 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 we're on a roll, right? Yes. And we yes. just continue, right, to say yes, 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 right? Yes. Uh, because you're in that place of accepting, of celebrating. You know, I that's celebrate right. the change. I celebrate the, the the change that's taking place. I may not understand it. I may not know yeah. it. But I'm going to celebrate it because I know that all of this is happening for me, for my growth, for my expansion. Right? Not and if only we is all of it happening that, for you, it's happening through you. Through you, yeah. It's, it's yeah. certainly like you are a co-participator, creator. Yes. Yeah. And I love those. I love those questions so much. And um, I'd like to say, too, you know, because we're wrapping up the show pretty soon, is that, Ooh. you know, for me, my go to mama has always been Maya Angelou and yes. her journey and how she was silenced and how she didn't speak for years. And if anybody in the world ever had a right to feel like a victim, it was Maya Angelou, I'm just going to say. And she never did. She never, never did. And, um, you know, when I feel, you know, when I'm having those moments that I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm so stuck in this. Own I go to some, someone or something that holds that resonancy for me. Maya Angelou is one of them. Louise Hay is another. Um, Sonia Shokat is another. So I'm just saying, you know, in those moments when you need inspiration, we live in an amazing world where we can literally have anything that we want Googled within mm -hmm. 15 seconds. And just that can change it, you know. And when I say fake it till you make it, that's what I mean. I mean, maybe at that very moment you might feel quite small. But inside that smallness, there is a brave soul screaming to be heard, or you wouldn't be feeling that way. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So and, and I think I, this show is pretty amazing <laughs> myself. <Yeah>. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave you with one last thing, right? Light bulb. And, and this yeah. is going to be huge. 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 <laughs> Blow my mind, Miss Marion. Right, where are you playing the role? A victim, perpetrator, yeah. and savior. Yes. Perpetrator. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> and wow. it's important and it's important to 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 write them all out, right? And yeah. see where it is. 
where the role that you are playing, right? The role that you oh. are playing as the victim, the role that what you are playing the as the perpetrator, and the role that you're playing as the savior, right? Savior, yes. 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 Oh, you know, that's my, <laughs> one of my favorite jokes when they say, when you finally figure out who's been ruining your life and the guy opens the door and it's you, <laughs> and it's you, know, you. <laughs> at the door, <laughs> the perpetrator. That's right. Because we, because we play all those roles in our lives yep. and we sure may not do. know it and we may not even recognize it when it's happening. And that's why I always say, let's be, let's be mindful of you know, how we are participating in the world and the roles that we are playing in the world. Because yes, we do play the victim. Yes, we do play the perpetrator. And yes, we do play the savior, right? And oh, your savior Lord. is your brave, <laughs> beating, courageous heart, you guys. Stay in how you want to feel. Shine, yes. shine, shine. And that's, uh, that's it for our show today. Let us sing some love and light. <laughs> Bye.